Welcome back everybody, today we are checking out another money making method, this one is going to be combat related though, combat oriented, so no buying from shops or anything like that, and you're going to need to have completed the Ardoin medium tasks, and also I would suggest at least base 60 uh, combat stats, I mean, ranged I'd say a little bit higher maybe, no 61, so you could use a run, run crossbow and magic. I'm not too sure. Again, base 60s will probably work just fine, but I'm going to be using melee. This is my combat setup. Uh, it's not very good. I don't have a fire cape or anything. I'm not even using a berserker ring. I'm just using ring of wealth, combat bracelet, don't even have barrow's gloves, but we do of course have a whip, uh, a fury, and a dragon defender, which are like the bigger better items but yeah this is the co this is what I'm using it's not too great but you don't need it to be that great that's the thing so yeah that's pretty much all the requirements if you have the arty medium decent ish stats my stats aren't too great but the you could you could use these stats I'm sure you could use much lower too and uh, yeah that's pretty much it let's go over and see well let me show what your inventory is going to be looking like. Let me just show this real quick. This is where we're going to be banking from the Zenaris Fairy Ring over just here and then right at these bankers. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to show this as well before we get into the inventory. There's not much on the inventory, but this is where we're going to be going using the Fairy Ring system. DJP takes you to the Tower of Life. I suggest having it in your... Um, Actually, no, you don't, you don't need it because the last destination thing. But yeah, DJP, and this is going to be our inventory setup. This is really all you need. So we don't really need food at this level. If you're doing it at a much lower level with lower defense, or maybe you just don't have the best armor, maybe you will need food. But other than that, you don't really need food. But this is basically the whole trip. Um, I showed where the bank is after you go to Zanars through the very ring. And then we're just going to run over here and go down this trap door over here. And this is a very quick run. It's uh, pretty close to a bank with the fairy ring. And then we're just going to come right over here to this um, symbol of life just south of the ladder. And we're going to be using the same ladder to go back up. And then all we're going to be doing is clicking on the symbol of life. You hold space or you just click uh, the text thing you have to click that though or your monster will not spawn and then all we're going to be doing is killing the monster and we will get red spider's eggs and these will become in noted since we did the medium diaries for Ardoin. and if you didn't do the medium Ardoin tasks it's going to take a lot longer and not be nearly as effective because well they're, they're not going to be noted you're gonna have to pick up six whole uh, things and it's just not going to go be that great so this method only costs around uh, 200 k um, this might be lower though I think I think so we will see though I'll put it in the beginning where I said there are other requirements sorry though but yeah I spent about 200 k on 200 uh, of each this will get us 200 kills and I did drop those six red spider eggs that we got as a drop before, so it doesn't mess with the end calculations and shit like that. And let's turn this back to 13, and let's just start the method. Obviously, I'll start the timer once we're back down there. Was I, Did I do something wrong here? Oh, yeah. Make sure you take out one um, red spider egg that is noted, so you could pick up the drops. I, I don't know. It... Because, like, it's just wasted inventory space anyways. You might as well use it to uh, have a nice little stack there. And then you could see how much you're getting through the whole method. And see where you're at. Because why not, you know? Why not? But, yeah. Let's uh, start the method. I will start the timer once we're down there. And, uh, yeah. Alright. Um, let's start the timer now. And... Yeah, let's see how many we could get through and do in one hour. And then we'll do some calculations and shit at the end and see how it all goes with everything. 
and obviously we're getting combat experience, but it's not it's not too easy to calculate because I don't know, I'm using a whip, so it's like uh yeah, it, it's a whole it's a whole thing. But yeah, they only drop uh, red spider. No, they don't only drop red spider eggs. That's the only valuable drop that they will be dropping. They drop red satchels and cups. Not cups, flasks of tea. There's a red satchel. Apparently, there's supposed to be things in there, like food. I've never once, like, I've never, ever have uh, seen anything in it. So, I don't know if it really does have anything in it or not, but, uh, yeah. Whatever. We'll be back. Alright, first inventory, we got 59 red spider's eggs. Obviously, that's what we're looking for. It's the only drop. But, um, yeah, it's it's so easy to bank. This is, like, a pretty a pretty chill method because it's, like, semi-AFK, kind of, not really, but, like, it's AK, it's AFK enough where it's just, like, it, it's chill. I dig it. I like this method. I've been doing it some amount recently, and uh, I know the cow method is kind of popular. It's always been, like, the one that everyone uses at the tower of life but uh haven't really seen anything on the red spider eggs things going on but that's that's the good one that's the one you want i don't know i don't know about that cow shit because unicorn hordes aren't very expensive but uh red spider eggs are just a heads up you do run out of energy just because of the trips are so fast i mean you're only killing 13 spidings and that goes pretty damn quick you might want to have like a stamina potion or two in your bank and sip on it once you go there because uh you do run out of run energy and that always sucks because you know it slows you down look how slow i'm walking versus the running it's just kind of shit and will slow down your gp per hour but not based on this video because i'm not going to be using them but if you do you will get more gp per hour i don't think it'll change it that much but uh Maybe it would. I'm not too sure. I don't think it. I don't think it'll make too big of a difference. But I'm just saying, that's a thing you could do very easily, and it shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't. What, what am I? What? I, I don't know what I was trying to say. I forgot to mention that spidings drop three to six uh, red spider eggs per kill, uh, guaranteed drop. So it's literally. It'll always be profitable, like no matter what, because you're always getting at least three red spider eggs and you're only using one red spider eggs and one raw sardine, which those are like 50 GP. So you're, you're guaranteed to make at least uh, double or triple, somewhere around there, in between the two, because I mean, you're still using raw sardines, but yeah, somewhere around there and you're not going to get only three uh, only three red spider eggs to kill. I mean, look how many, uh, four, three, and five and sixes I've gotten. But, uh, yeah. Of course, it's based on RNG, but there's, n the chances of that are, like, literally impossible. But, yeah. Another way to look at this also is, as soon as you go over the hundred red spider eggs mark, because it's around a hundred kills, I think, Somewhere around there, pretty close to it, at least at my level, based on all of the times I've done this previously. Um, it's somewhere around 100 kills. So right once you go over the 100 red spider eggs noted, you're in the profit. So that's one way to look at it. And what what are we at right now? 16 minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, not 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 bad. But uh, maybe maybe we'll go over. I'm not too sure. I'm just saying general generally once you hit 100 you should be good oh yeah another interesting little mechanic with the symbol of life go away miss sandwich lady is you could preload it so if you click it'll like load the two ingredients and if you like if you log out or essentially like even if you quit the game and came back like 10 years later it will still be in there so like if you disconnect or whatever, you don't have to worry about losing a kill or anything like that. Or like you log out. I don't know. I'm just saying 
this will always, always, always be in there. It'll never go away. Because there's there's been some interesting things, like with the Tower of Life, where the mods and well, developers and shit were like doing some testing. That's why they drop uh, red the the satchels and the things of tea. It was just a test that the developers were doing. I don't really know what, but um, something about like this doesn't use the normal ID functioning things. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly, but it goes based on your character rather than the rest of like the game. I, I don't know. I, I'll try to read up on it and and give like some educated info because right now I just sound like a dumbass because I don't really know what I'm talking about. I, I roughly do, but you know. All right. So yeah, I was right. The, the satchels, not the, not the flasks. It was just uh, Jagex testing out some type of new scripting that uh, stores things in the player's database in instead of, like, the main game. I don't know, just a little... I found interesting when I read it. It's in the Wikipedia page for the quest, Tower of Life, instead of, like, the satchels uh, wiki page. I don't know why, but uh, kind of interesting. I feel like I've been slacking a little bit. We're pretty close to the halfway mark. And uh, right now I'm just going to go full tryhard mode to be as efficient as possible. Uh, to try to make up for some of the slack. Because I want an accurate uh, reading on at least my my stats and armor hourly profit. Because I've been doing this a little bit. And like, I do enjoy this method. Not gonna lie, because it, it has some combat elements and shit, and I like, like getting XP instead of just like buying shit from a shop and not getting any XP. But uh, yeah, we'll, we're gonna go troll full tryhard mode. All right, so it's definitely over 100 kill, kills an hour. Um, I just went over the 100 mark, because I think it went down to like 92 or something like that. I probably just should have showed my bank. But, we are past 100 kills with this inventory. So, yeah. And that is the last kill we're going to be able to do. Alright, 690 red spider eggs. Let's go to the Grand Exchange and sell these off and see how much we made. I think this turned, I, I, I think this turned out pretty uh, decent. But let's see the overall profit. We did that for a full hour straight. I wasn't the most effective. Um, bring stamina potions and maybe a dragon dagger to do some special attacks would be better. But yeah. Alright, so selling those off, we got 702k. And let's just look at this. We got... We had... Uh, we just have to take these away. Out of the profit. Well, out of... Wait. No, that's not how you do that. One sec. Alright, so we ended up with 550k profit from the hour. Basically what I did is I took away the other, the amount that we used, the amount of sardines and red spider eggs, and took away that from this, and that came to 155k. And the I, I'm rounding up and rounding down, but basically 550k an hour. Again, you could definitely make more than this if you have... I don't know, Barrow's Gloves, and a, maybe a Berserker Ring, I, I don't know, Fire Cave, you know, you know, just, just things that make you, you hit more. Um, stamina Potions, maybe Combat Potions, I don't know how much that'll be taking away from your profit, but I think it would work out in your favor. Obviously better stats, so you hit better and more, and don't die as easily, I did use some Prey, for protect against melee because my health was at like I think like 13 but yeah just bring a few sharks eat them when you go to Zanaris and your bank and uh yeah if you guys did enjoy this let me know in the comments down below also you could let me know by giving the video a like or if you didn't dis if you didn't like it you could uh, tell me that too by disliking the video or letting me know what you didn't like in the comments down below, all of my links are in the description. You can hit me up on Discord, Twitter, Snapchat even, if you're into that. 
And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.